Hi, my name is Cynthia Corbin. Today I'm so guys, I'm picking the peas. Before I wash, I'm gonna pick the peas, make sure no nothing into no stone or no rock into the peas. So I'm So I'm picking all these peas. Going pigeon peas. Make sure you pick. So this is pigeon peas. Fresh pigeon peas. It's growing. That's what we're going. So I am picking it out for me to cook in case it have any little rock. You gotta pick it, make sure nothing is in the peas. So I'm gonna pick the peas. Go so I'm gonna put the peas back in the pan. Get washed now. So we gotta wash the peas. So as you know, hand shell it, so we gotta properly wash it. Now when we put it in. Okay. So I'm going to dice my shallot now. Dice the shallot to give the piece of the right flavor. Garlic. Now I'm going to do the scallion for the peas and rice. And I see flavor pepper. This is how my grandmother used to do it. I it for the peas and rice. So this is giving the pepper good flavor. And it smells very good. This is the thyme. So instead of she cut it up, I remember my grandmother used to make a tie. Hey, so actually what is that? And she will tie it and she just, I just see she tie the thing and pong it. So you don't have to get away into the peas and rice, I think. That was the idea. So you push it in and she leave it right there. So then I have this catch on it, I will just put it like that. And she also always add a piece of ginger, she never, she never grate it. So just dice it down and anybody get it to eat is good. So that's it. So that is it. Finish. Okay. So I'm going to pour the piece into the pot. So, 
I'm going to put in the shallot. Check the peas. I use this to see if it's cooking. I'm gonna check the peas. This is getting. I'm going to put in the um, get the rice to wash. To put in the rice and peas. Oh, and uh, so the thyme and the scallion and the scotch bonnet. I'm going to put it in in a minute for the rice. Hi, my name is Cynthia Corbin. Today I'm going to okay, I'm going to take the coconut from the bag. And this is the coconut. So we're going to get it out of the shell. I'm gonna pong it for the hammer a little bit. I'm going to dig it out from the shell. You're going to know how to put the knife to the side to get the coconut out. Oh, now you could get cut. So you press the knife one part and you just press into the coconut. You got to press. There you go. These are the coconut. Just gotta wash it properly. And this coconut is very good to, for you. You could eat it. So you could strain it in the strainer or you could use the net the net one clean net one to um add the trees club to strain the coconut so you get more milk from the coconut any any one you want to use with me i'm going to throw this trash okay so this is the milk here i remember when i was small my grandmother used to say you could have some milk so i would Throw a little bit of milk here and I'm going to drink it. So, this is what I'm going to use. That's my rice. You know, I flavor my rice with this. Um, I don't know for you, but it's what I flavor my rice with. Give my, my peas a, a good flavor. I wash it already. So I'm just going to flavor my rice. Coconut. And then we're going to use a little more salt because the peas are... Yeah. I wash the rice and then we're going to put it into the peas. Coconut milk.
So this is the rice I'm putting into the pea. And I'm going to put in the scallion and the thyme and the scotch bonnet and cover it here. Yeah. 